Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Sayed Ahmed and you're watching TechX Tutorials. So I am here again with another tutorial on the topic how to unlock the bootloader of any Android device. So make sure you follow each and every steps because they are crucial. It can actually harm your device as, as well. So it is important that you watch each and every step. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment, like the video and share it with your friends. So let's get started with the video. Okay, before doing anything, you must know that unlocking your bootloader ultimately deletes and wipes all the data on your device. So be sure that you have a backup or data and safely backed up into some storage because it'll seriously wipe out everything. Okay, next moving on to the topic. Uh, the method I'm going to follow is the easiest method on the internet because I'm using the fast boot option. Uh, other options like bootloader unlocker, something like that won't work out and it'll definitely break your device. So better is that you follow each and every step I'm going to show here and make the use of the opportunity. First of all, you need to head down to the link in description uh, which will guide you to this developer.android.com SDK platform tools. Down there, you need to download this over here. Uh, mine is Windows 10 PC, so I'll be selecting Windows 10. Uh, there will be some terms and conditions and press on I have read and agree and download it by pressing this button. After you have done, you'll get a file called platform tools over here extract it to a folder and you can see such files over here these are the basic files you will need to unlock the bootloader of your device through fast boot option so next you're gonna do is you're gonna get your device you're gonna get it connected to your pc okay after connecting uh usb plug into your PC you need to make sure that you go to settings then go down until you see something like this system and then go to about phone and on the bill number you need to press it more than seven times continuously and it will be asking your password enter it there you go now you're a developer when you open the developer options you can see it's on and in this you need to make sure you have two options ticked one is the usb debugging mode which allows uh, us to can transfer data and other stuff you need this need to be on and the next is this oem unlocking in many devices this might differ to another maybe fast boot or something like that but most of them have as oem unlocking make sure it is unlocked uh, give your password over there And it'll be warning that device production features device production features will not work enable it and that's it you're good to go okay after you are done with android phone settings then head to your desktop and uh, open up the platform tools i have sent you in the link description open it up you'll see such files over there next uh, you should be opening the command window over here you can either do it in two way first you can press shift and right click you can see open powershell or you can use the taskbar in the top over there in the address section and type cmd if you do that you will have opened cmd uh, in this folder you have to type this keyword that is adb devices make sure you get your device over here mine's this one so it's get identified next uh, attribute should be adb reboot bootloader when you do this on your device you can see this see your device getting into bootloader option and you can see clearly that your bootloader is logged over there in the bottom right there so this is what happens when you enter that attribute when that's done you have to see whether you're in the part 
The next attribute you have to type in CMD will be fast boot devices to check whether your device has been unified. As you can see my device has been unified. You can continue with that and type fast boot without any space fast boot OEM unlock. Okay now is the most crucial part you should have a backup and you cannot miss this out because you will be erasing whole data out of your device okay when you type fastboot oem unlock on your android device you can see there is an interface of asking you whether you want to do this or not so you have to use your volume up and down keys and for uh, redirecting to uh, buttons and so power button for selecting there you have to select roll down and select to yes and press the power button And that's it. Now you can see that your uh, device has been unlocked bootloader. I can show you this way. Roll down to the settings over there. Settings. Go down. Go into system. And uh, go to the developer options. Over there you can now see that your bootloader is already unlocked the option. You don't have to select over there. By this you can confirm that your bootloader has been unlocked. Congratulations. Enjoy this and you can watch my other videos. If you want to know how to create a backup you can just head over to the description and get a video link on how to create a backup, full backup of your Android device and never you lose your data. Yo, I'll be leaving in description. Watch it. You can install custom ROM, custom recovery and even root the devices and I'm gonna release more videos about this topic, be ready for it. Thank you and subscribe for more such videos. See ya.